Tyler YouTube, postcom demo underscore 23 here. Welcome to what will be episode 83 of the YouTube channel. I'm just gonna get this out of the way, give it a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and this is gonna be a little bit different than most. I'm going to get these guys to do something for me if you watch the entirety of the episode. Is this the best team we ever built on Football Manager? No matter if we win, lose, or draw, Raw. We've been playing FM since FM 18 on YouTube and Twitch. And most, if not more than 90% of the games have all been streamed over on the Twitch channel. With that being said, a debate has raged on since the start of time of which team was the best. And well, today, I'm going to give you all the opportunity to find out. The way we're going to do it is I have gone back through time and have taken clips of the more historical moments of all the one club saves that we did. So you're gonna go back and hear audio from when I used just a webcam audio and the camera wasn't great. You're gonna go back to the old pool room where the quality wasn't that 180p and you're gonna go all the way back from HK all the way through to Wrexham. And I want you guys at the end of the video to let me know which team was your favorite with that being said once you get through the compilation of everything and it's going to take some time to go through what is six to you know six to seven years of history we then have a champions league final against real madrid so stay tuned for that give the episode a like do subscribe to the youtube channel and without further ado i'm going to head over to demo postcon demo and let him take over and enjoy your little look at the history of this channel Postcon demo here, YouTube. First save was HK, the rise of Iceland. We went to Iceland, said Division 2. We took an Icelandic club all the way to the Champions League final. We got one massive run in in the Champions League, and we went on to win it all, and it was in a momentous day. We, this was with poor audio, with well, webcam only, and it was the glory days of where it all started for us. Can he score now? Come on, boys. Grammy steps up. Can he do it? Muta! He saves! Let's go! And HK had the chance to win! Muta saved! He stayed up the middle! He got Grammy trying to be cheeky and go up the middle! We could have called that a Panenka, why not? He tried to do the Panenka. There we go, he saved 6-6. Six, six. We had the chance. Victor Hugo, the Brazilian, the world class centre back. Can he put us into the quarterfinal of the Champions League? I will scream the house down if we score. Oh my god! Now we're gonna HTB93, you can't say that now, we're gonna miss. Come on, Hugo, send us into the quarterfinal. Victor Hugo from the spot, can he do it? No, he saves! HBG93 called it. You can't do that, my friend. Oh, the penalty shootout continues. You can't, oh, how did you call that? HTB93, you're not a mod. And buddy, what to saves? Bang! Let's go! The Portuguese keeper saves it twice in a row! And now it's another chance! Oh, let's just, 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 just give it to Crespo. Yes, he can take a penalty. I'm in the know, please don't be wearing headphones. You would be in trouble if you're wearing headphones. I can't contain myself. Crespo! Please! Don't do this! HBG93 before I leave this penalty. Is he gonna score? I wanna know. Let me know in the chat. I'm looking at my phone. Come on. Let me know. No response. His name's Crespo. Surely he will end it. That's surely a good sign. Crespo steps up against Gomez. Crespo for the second time round. The keeper goes around. Right, right, it's in. Let's go. See. And after 120 minutes. And penalty shootout, it's finished HK2, Atlanta 2, it finishes 4-4 on aggregate, 7-6 on penalties. It's the only time we're going to get you to go back and watch these episodes now, before everything gets spoiled in just a second when we remove the hand from us. you got 3 seconds, 2 seconds, 1 second. We're in a suit, that means we're in the final of the Champions League. HK in the final of the Champions League. I slapped my head really too hard, that hurt my ear. 
Oh my days. Get into it. That is correct. Go to Aimbox. Historic Champions of the Cup final. HK vs Barca at the Bernabeu. There's a great challenge there. Marchado's on the ball. Can we press him in here? Force him into a mistake. We don't. Connor's on the ball. They're into Pavard. Pavard plays back to Ruiz and he kicks it long. Can we get on the ball? We don't. And Brata's ball. There's a Dembele. Osuma Dembele. The star man for Barcelona for many, many years. His ball is off on Grimada. From distance, what a strike! Ingo Grimada has put a dagger through HK Hart. Have to go for it. Grimada there. Can we just get it away? It falls to Bartra. Can we go out and press the winner? Falls to Torres. Torres back to Brata. Maybe from distance. He does go for the. Oh, what a save on Wood. He gets up and claims well. Here we go. Come on, boys. Come on, Mutsa. His ball's short to Wallace. Can he lay it out here to get Lea? We're great at playing out. Here comes Steven. Gomez now. The ball's on the already out wide. His ball in the middle. Find Trevino. He's got a chance. Trevino's one on one. Trevino! HK1 Barca one! Let's go! And on the break, go HK! In the final, it's 1-1! One, one. Here we go! The playmaking abilities of Steven finds Gomez. Gomez, the Brazilian, loves picking out a ball. It's a great ball in between the lines. Trevino in the channels gets on it. Takes two touches, gives the keeper the eyes, and the Mexican goes, no, I'm world class too. This is HK. We don't die. There we go. Free kick, Gomez. Back post. Shoots, he gets up, he doesn't. Back to Gomez. Can he whip it in? Can we make it 2 2? The ball hit. Cannons off the ball. No. Good stuff. Steven, though. Cross. Back post. Headed away. Gomez. He locks the shot from distance. Gomez! Gomez! See! Gomez! I've accidentally run into my pool cue. Gomez! We're 2-1 up! Oh my god! We're 2-1 up in the Champions League final against Barcelona! Hold on. 91st. We conceded late against Atlanta as well. Do not do this to me. 93rd. 15 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. What a challenge from Pereira. I tell you what, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. The little old team from HK. They are 1-0 down in the 70th. But when the final whistle goes in 10 seconds time, they are going to be crowned the Champions League winners of 2028-29. Victor Hugo to Centeno. Blow your whistle referee. Make my night. Make my day. Make my year. Make my life. Blow your whistle. That was perfect timing. Oh, my God. Barca on the break. Centeno, well done. Blow your whistle! We are Champions League winners. Me again, YouTube. And, well, what a save HK was. I just let you watch all the drama unfold. Apologies for the mic and the audio on that one. And, unfortunately, here with Sunderland, it's not too dissimilar as it was very early on in my streaming piece we're off to fm19 sunderland and bright lights aptly named after the stadium of light now this save is widely regarded as our most dramatic as there was so many late goals and massive amounts of drama in big ties. What I am going to do is post Condemo is going to come through in important moments as there's a lot to recap in this save and there's many big moments missed. If there's ever a save that I recommend for anyone to go back and watch, this one is right up there on the list. Your first big moment is the FA Cup final, the first one that we won. The all-important equaliser scored by a guy we bought for £500 from a pub team in Scotland. Mike got in one of the biggest heroes we ever had on any save. The box, he does, he crossbar, falls, got it! I got it! I got it! My God! In. Oh my days! 90th minute. It is 2-2 in the cup final. Wood in there. Dosic what a strike. Hit Coulter, but got it in the box. And it is 2-2. Now what the frick do we do? I'm sick of away. 118th minute. Smivies to Sarata. Back to Smivies. He goes long. Can we win it in the air, please? We don't. Can we win the second ball? Silva does. Wood looking for what more? Talent. Oh my God. Silva! Silva! See? Yes! Come on! Silva! 120th! 
from late equalisers in the FA Cup to later equalisers in the Europa League final. We played Inter a few years later in the Europa League final and well, it came even later from one of the players tooted as the best striker we ever owned. Nicholas Adrian came in clutch in many cup games and in many knockout stages late doors. It also features an Alex Smithies at 35 who used to pull off triple saves like no tomorrow. He did end up retiring for people wondering after this game what an end to a career for one of our favourite goalkeepers we ever used. This is the final of the Europa League. We have the Europa League anthem going on in the background at the moment while we do this press conference. We of course are in the suit park. And off we go. First change. 85th minute highlight. Burgess now. Into Haller. Haller now. Whips it back. Stick. Nakamura. Oh, I didn't win it. And maybe it's a chance for into the break. Here we go. The ball laid back. Collio there. Played in the Munier. Munier now with it. Finds Collio. Collio now. Finds it in the Palacio. Over the top looking for Simone. Surely Miranda will get there. Just don't lose it. We are a bad place to lose it. Goes back now to Smithies. Smithies now. He's kept the clean sheet here for 85 minutes. Finds Ives. Ives now with it. Lays it back towards Smithies. Finds it in the Daniel now. Daniel with it. Daniel back to Smithies. Smithies now with it. Just not a defensive mistake. Goes second line there. It's a poor ball. Qualio now. Into Molita. Molita there. Finds Simone. Hits it. It's through Smithies and it's in. Come on, boys. Is it going to be a last chance here? Push forward, boys. Come on, lads. It's a highlight. It's a corner. It's Haller. Haller's ball in back post. Can we get up? Daniel knocks it down. Adrian! No, he's put it wide! You can't put it wide there, Nicholas. The Wonder Kid. 90th minute. 91st highlight. How does he put it wide? The ball in the D'Amico. One by Burgess. Can we break here? Marquez looks for Haller. Go Haller. Run Haller. Beat him. Take him down the line. Where's Adrian? Numbers by post. Adrian! Come on! In the 92nd minute. It is Sunderland 1 into 1. How many times in a cup final does Sunderland need to score late to stay in it? Adrian, he's missed a couple of big chances, but this time he buries it when we need it most. And in the 92nd minute, it is 1-1. The stress of penalties. Oh, this is doing my head in. This is doing my head in. Can we win it? Alex Smithies, you've done it for me before. What a way to just go out on a high. If I was Smithies, and if you make two free saves in this penalty shootout and you win, you retire on the spot, because then you've done it all. But it's penalties, and here we go. This is not what we want. Inter go first. I hate that. I hate that Inter are going first. I prefer to be shooting second and first. Put the pressure on. It is Smithies versus Simone. Can we do it? Simone steps up versus Smithies. Smithies. Goes the right way, but what a penalty from Simone. And we're 1-0 down. Haller now, have to score. Get back to 1-1. Get back to level terms. Haller now versus Baggio, the wonder kid. Baggio, what a save. Haller misses. Collio now versus Smithies. Come on, Smithies. Bail us out of a hole here. Collio versus Smithies. Smithies! And just like that, if we score, we're back on level terms. Nicholas Adrian, you've scored a few penalties. You missed one. You missed your first ever penalty for Sunderland. But you've scored plenty. Baggio, the wonder kid versus Smithies. And he beats him and we're back on level terms. 1-1, one, one, come on. Multari versus Smithies. Come on, Smithies, do it again. Multari versus Smithies. Smith, oh no, he punched him into the back of the net. Thought he did it. Durant Miguel. He's a penalty maestro. He knows what he's doing on the spot. Miguel versus Baggio. Miguel versus Baggio. What a penalty. Top bins. Pick that one out. Oh, the stress. It's 2 2. Diamico. The star from Inter. Can he do it or will Smithies foil him? Smithies versus Diamico. Smithies! Smithies! He's done it again. Nakamura. What a season he's had. Can he bury it? Nakamura. 
versus Baggio. What a penalty! Come on! Come on! Come on! If Smivy saves, we win the Europa League. If Smivy's saves. Rodrigo versus Smivy's. Can Alex Smivy's do it? It will be the twilight of his career. It will be the best moment of his career. Rodrigo versus Smivy's. Rodrigo steps up. Oh, he's put it top bins. Oh. And the pressure's now on us. If Marquez scores, we win the Europa League. Rodrigo Marquez, 16 penalties. Rodrigo Marquez, Pucas goal winner, scoring goal of the year last year. Marquez versus Baggio. I can't sit. I can barely watch. Marquez, Baggio, Marquez, Marquez! Come on! A drama-filled Europa League final was followed up two years later by a drama-filled Champions League final. We played the team that I adore in Liverpool and it was a storming drama-filled final. It was one where if we won it, the save would be over, but if we lost it, it would continue. And boy, did it go down to the wire as it always did in this save. This one hasn't been anyway. Might there. Harry Wilson now on the ball. Into Arthur. Arthur now. His ball back to Dosek. It's the first moment we've seen of us going forward. It's been a very nervy Sunderland, but we're out on it now. Nakamura now into a no. And no, can he find a pass? Does find Nakamura. Miranda's on that side. We do find him in the end. There's numbers in the box. Miranda. Harry Wilson. It's through Becker and Simba. One new up in the Champions League final. Come on. It wasn't the great best. And Tyrini now. His ball there into Ryan. Ryan now running forward at will. Still Ryan. Still Ryan. Still Ryan. The ball into Tandy. Dylan Tandy is so good. Fred 1v1. <laughs> and there we are. It's going to Pens, man. It better not. It better not. Come on. Let's get us a winner. From kickoff. From kickoff. It would be great. Arthur now. Ball. Daniel. I believe until the highlight fades out. It fades out. Bugger. All right. Time is ticking away here. 109. 110. It's a freaking highlight. It's Mateo into Daniel. Daniel now, we're good at playing out, no mistake, Daniel now, he goes long in the end, which I don't like, it's towards Harry Wilson, but William and No is not going to get there, and Kenyon now with the ball, in towards Awobi, Awobi now, with a ball, out the other side, looks there, Dylan Tandy, Ryan, we're stretched, Ryan blocked, got in, turn, ball down the line towards Adrian, Adrian now on it, still with Adrian, Wilson running inside, Adrian beats one, Adrian inside, Wilson, Harry Wilson, tackled, Dosek, Dosek, straight up Becker, fuck, it was the chance. Is that the highlight though? Still going. Becker, long, very long. Got a win. Daniel does. Only as far as a Wobi. Dylan Tandy's in here. So is Ryan. Ryan! What a save, Mateo. Good tackle from Mike. Got in. End to end. Dossett could have won it. Ryan could have won it. Both keepers, big saves. Van Ness now. His corner in. Back stick, cleared. Cleared away. Only as far as Van Ness. Ball into Ruben Diaz. Into Sagnoy. Don't allow the shot. Kenyon, force him all the way back. Highlight, just end. Good, good, good. Oh, well done, Mateo. 150, 160. Is it going to penalties? It's a corner. Van Ness, Ruben Diaz. And we've lost the Champions League final an extra time to a set piece. We don't get the treble. We don't do it. What an even game of football. Should we have set up shot but 1-0? We could have. Every time we've done it in the past, it's given us heartache. This is our first ever loss, by the way, in a final on a stream. A sad one to lose there, but that meant 
going again for one more season. And well, in an episode titled where all the money went, we made the biggest transfer in our history. It's a player that featured in this save and in the save preceding this one as well. And it was the start of the love affair of a certain Kylian Mbappe. Season here. And let's get into it. There's a name there. I'm going to pretend you cannot see that name, but you can see that name. There is a name there that everybody knows in world football, but we have to go to the outs because that's what we do. Aaron Wiser, Steven Gerrard, someone that can get back and do some defending at 10 tackling, but very physical, loves getting forward, and loves a hit from distance. This guy could be fun. If that guy's going to be fun, well, then this guy's going to be unbelievable, isn't he? Mr. Mbappe. Now, the story of how we got Mbappe goes like this. Down for the next four um, on a massive contract. He's going to get 25% wage rise. That's 93K a year. His wage goes up. So wages-wise, we're in trouble. But this is a signing to say we want to win the Prem We want to win the Champions League. We want it now. We fluked into getting Mbappe because we weren't expecting it. We just said, oh, there's 120 mil PSG. And they're like, yeah, 129. And Mbappe's like, yeah, I'm interested in coming. Here he is. But there he is, Mr. Mbappe, at Sunderland. I don't believe it. You don't believe it. I'm excited. You're excited. Until and it all led down to this, a moment versus Dortmund in the Champions League final. And remember how when I said when we signed Mbappe that it was for the Champions League and to win it now? Well, keep that in mind when you see who scores the winner to end the save prone to my mistake. Anyway, 63 minutes in, and it's our first highlight, maybe. It's into Dosek. Dosek now, into Miranda. Miranda now, looking long, over the top for Mbappe. Doesn't find him. It's headed down. It is Panida. Panida's ball there into Nagel. Nagel now with it. Nagel into Panina. Panina again into Nagel, and off we go again here. Are we pressing in here? Can we win it off Nagel? Haller nearly did. New Brian now. Can we force him back? We do. Can we win this second ball? Come on, boys. Force him long. Press up. He goes to Muhammad. Good press here from Adrian. There we are. Bob press as well too. Force him long. We do force him long. Can we win this ball in the air here, Daniel? He does. Dosek now. Heads on. Adrian can take it under his touch. There goes Adrian. Miranda. Numbers in the box. Back stick. Mbappé! 1-0 in the Champions League final. It is Sunderland 1. It is Dortmund 0. And it's that man again. It's Mbappé, the best player in the world. A player I said when I signed him for 129 mil, this is a signing to win the Champions League. And he's gone in, in the final, and he's buried it. And it is 1-0 Sunderland. Calm down, boys. Calm down. You're five minutes away from being heroes. It's a freaking highlight for Dortmund. Nagel in it to Matra. Matra now into Nagel. Nagel now into Pavon. Into Pendena. Pendena to Dromna. Dromna from distance wide. And that's why we went five at the back. Two banks of five and four. They've gone three up front. There's not much time here. They need it now. It's a corner. It would either be oh so late or it's going to be that. Ball in headed away from Daniel Pavon. It's full time. We've done it. We've done it. We've won the Champions League. After all the drama all the late goals, and all about Kylian Mbappe. It was always going to be hard to top Sunderland. However, when we went to France with little old FC Mess, we built a world-class team that was able to topple a Chelsea side that we could see were world class. One of the best teams that AI has ever built. This Chelsea side had Mbappe, Foden, you name it, everyone. And as you'll see, we played him in one final, we did not do well. We played him in another final, and oh boy, the craziest Champions League final of them all. Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it is The Return, it is episode 63 of The Return, and today is the Champions League final versus Chelsea. We have some history against Chelsea in the Champions League already. We also have a historic treble that we are going after today as we won the league yet again for the fourth year in a row. 25 minutes played though, the Champions League final petering out, which is perfect for us. Trincano whips it, Mubia comes, Jorginho has put it into the net. Moriba gives us a 1-0 lead in the Champions League final. It's a free kick. It's Trincano, and it had to be Moriba. 
A free signing from Barcelona. An absolute colossus at centre mid. World class. Scored many great goals for us. But any as important as that, who knows? Down the other end though, Mbappe whips the free kick down there. It's headed away, but only as far as Clivert. We have a 1-0 lead in the Champions League, but it could be wiped out with one decent ball. It falls to Mbappe. He's got all the time in the world. He knocks it past his man. In the end, Todd clears. And if Fabio gets there first, he can beat a man. He doesn't, though. And the ball back to Mbappe is in. He's inside. He hits it. And just like that, it is 1-1 in the Champions League final. Mr. Mbappe is just too good sometimes. And you've got to hold your hands up and say it is too good. Leno's beat at the far stick. We did trust him. And in the end, there's nothing Leno could do in this. We brought him in for this exact reason that we don't trust Mori in these big games. Leno, unfortunately, is beat, and it is 1-1 just like that. 58 minutes played. They've also made a change as well as Gavin comes in one of their regens. But a ball was chipped into Mbappe, and he hits, and it's in, and Mbappe scores, and it's 2-1. And Jai Kuchuna has got his prediction spot on at the moment. There you go. It's chipped in from a free kick. Of course it's a free kick. Mbappe is there, and he puts it in, and Leno can't do anything about that. And now we've got it all to do. Johnny Razdo is good over a dead ball and he whips it in back steep. Mariba comes, but Jorginho comes and claims. At the moment, we haven't seen ourselves break him down. It's a long ball and Mbappe there again is just controlling this game by himself. Phil Foden, where is everybody? Where's the defence? In the end, it's blocked and Mariba clears. No one in the middle of the park is having a game. It's another foul. It's another Mbappe moment. Ball in cleared from Tosin. At the moment, we're a little bit at sixes and sevens. We just need to calm down out there. We just need to do the right things. Keep on the ball. Alaba now. Chance to whip one in. Mbappe again. Oh my God. Oh my, he's too good, man. Kai Havertz now. Hadzic now. In to Fabio Silva. We need two goals in three minutes of football. Nori, Hadzic. Put it over the top, my son. Fabio Silva, there's every time to score it, it's now. Fabio, does anybody ever believe it would be such a demo thing to do to do it and to win this game from here? It's 3-2. Does anybody believe that there is a moment of madness left in us? We need a highlight. We need it now, football manager. We need the ball. Is there a chance to believe he is dead set level? VAR allows it. We need a highlight. Is there one football manager? It is, but it's time's ticked. Has it now clears. Come on, boys. Can we get the referee? Don't blow your whistle one time. Just don't blow it. Just don't blow it. Give me back that bloody football. Cliver, I think it's all over, boys. Well, it's, it's going to be all over. Nori, Cliver again. Kudge hits over. I think that's it, boys. Think that's it, boys. And that is all she wrote. The difference was one man. The difference was a man that I used last year on FM. The difference was Mbappe. Today, we rewrite history. Hello YouTube, it is Damien, it's episode 86 and it is Champions League final time, Gal 2, thank you for the follow, what a time to come in and follow my man, we are here yet again and it's our time to rewrite history, we have got Chelsea in the Champions League final for the second time. The second time, that is correct, to get two teams so evenly matched and to get the same team again in the Champions League final to rewrite history was something pretty special served up by the FM gods. And above me is some of the team members. I actually go through all the team here. I'm not going to put the full three minutes into this compilation. It's already too long. But the man on screen just before, Oglev, definitely worth a mention. And watch how, without him, this Champions League final would be over. 
one of the greatest Champions League final performances and we concede maybe three goals in this Champions League final. It was the craziest final I've ever been part of. And if there's ever an episode to go watch back in its entirety, it is probably this episode from FC Mess and the return. Out towards Demerol, he's not going to be that good going forward, but he's obviously a very good defensive player and probably put out there by Lampard to kind of stifle Manio. Mbappe now beats one, hits it. In the end, Oglev makes a pretty sharp save at his near post. It's going to need a little bit better than that to beat the world-class Russian goalkeeper that's been linked with Man City. But it is a corner early doors and Oglev comes and claims. A very nervous start here from Mess. Yet to have a chance, but at the same time, though, getting on the ball. We're not, we're not down early, which is good. The Litz on it here, and he drives there. Demaril, good press from Manio, keeping him, uh, you know, honest. But they do work out so well, and Tomori finds Phil Foden. And they've got numbers left and right if they want to get out, and Kepa does find Ben Chilwell. And it's been all Chelsea at the start of this game, but who knows? And you've got to remember, in 2026, the team that took the lead that day didn't win it. That was us. It's a defensive mistake, and Mbappe's in. Oglev, what a save at the feet of Mbappe. It was a mistake from Daniel Sarata, the world-class centre-back. And Oglev goes massive and makes a huge save at the feet of Mbappe to deny him. And he saved it again. Chelsea have got us at sixes and sevens. And what a save. We're rewinding that. What a couple of saves that is from Oglev. Wow. Get to behind the goal. Oglev at the feet of Mbappe. What a save. But then the corner comes in and we don't pick it up at all. I think there's going to be a need to demand more, even though it's only 15 minutes in. We are at sixes and sevens here. What a header. What a save from Oglev yet again. Back to TV we go. Gets on it. Savas wins it. No, he doesn't. It falls to Ben Chilwell. Everything falling Chelsea's way. Hadzic now. Surely this is the highlight. It's not. Hadzic now. Fabio in a very good spot. We're on the break here. Fabio Silva. Can he get a ball into the box? He does. Moriba! We really should have been one or two nil down. In the end, he got a world-class goalkeeper to thank for that. It's a corner and it's Manio. And we've been scoring of set pieces of late. Backstreet. Fabio Silva, it's 2 nil. Fabio Silva, it's 2 nil. As the saying goes in this channel, Big Dick Silva does it again. Manio with lasers it in. Kepa doesn't come for it. And Fabio just glides it into the top bin. As easy as you like from the training gown, and it is 2 0 mess. Chelsea are a little bit shocked. They don't know how they're not ahead. And here we are with the lead. In the end, from kickoff, and Mbappe says, Calm down, Damien. I hear you there. And, and, and Mbappe goes, This is my time. This is my competition. This is a competition I own, he says to us. And with a little bit of disdain, he thumps it past Oglev. And there we go. This game is not going to be for the faint-hearted. And Mbappe straight away gets his 29th for the year. And just like that, we're brought back down to earth. And it's another highlight. We're in for an absolute roller coaster, ladies and gentlemen. Mariba, his ball in blocked. Todd now brings it up. Finds Adranzinho now. And his ball finds Mariba. He started really well. Todd now. Good ball out to Manio. Finds it there. Can he get it in the box? Steady. Finds Nori. Good ball in. Centoro straight at Kepa. In the Gonzalez is so good. In the end, it's well won there by Nori and Hadzic now. And on the break is Manio. Look at Manio on the left-hand side. Hadzic, find him. Doesn't. Steady lays it back to Savas and we can keep it again. Back to Daniel. Couple bookings on that right-hand side. I don't want to see that early. Find Savas again. Into Daniel Santoro. Savas on the overlap. It's a very good work move here from Mess. His ball in. Hadzic, cut it, my boy. Savas, Santoro, what a goal. Daniel Santoro has not been in form at all this year, but he loves a big game. We gambled with him, and he's paid off, and it's 3-1 mess right on halftime. What a move. What a goal. It deserves to be scored in the Champions League final. Hadzic does well. Back to Savas. He finds Daniel, and he sweeps it past Kepa. And there we go. Kepa goes long, and he finds Gonzalez, and Mbappe making a run through the middle for him. In the end, it finds Carter. Carter now with the run inside. Still going is Carter. Looks for Mbappe. Oglev foils him again. The difference all those years ago is we didn't have a world-class goalkeeper. This year we do. 
And Mbappe is foiled again by Oglev. What a pass. The speed of Mbappe. He got the outbody Daniel Mari de Litt. Big boy out to Gonzalez. And they've got the overlap. He left and right. It's a ball and a half to Demiral. He's not known for his crossing ability, but he's in the right area. Gonzalez is inside, though. Gavin's there. Oglev. Oglev, 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 Oglev. The Russian is an legitimate brick wall. What a hit, what a save. Oglev, if there was ever a time that a goalkeeper deserved to have a match rating of a nine, it is right now. Oh my days. Manio though, ball in. Front stick. Jean Todd. We're winning it. We've, 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 we've won it. We've won it. We won it. Let's celebrate, boys. His name is Francisco Trincano, and he has been a goat of this save, too. you got to remember, only last season, we were four minutes away from the save being over, and he scored the most wonder goal of wonder goals. On he comes. They need three. If there's any team in real football that can score three, it is them. But they need three. Francisco now, in the Subas Aaron. Clivert, who scored in the semi-final, comes in and wins it. Still with Clivert. Toss him with the tackle. Falls back to Clivert, though. And Oglev's B, and it's 4-2. Got to get through this highlight. Clivert's come on and looked good. I'm going to take Savas off and bring Johnny Raz in light for light. Mbappe blocked. Falls to him. Fuck off, man. Don't do it to me like this. Don't do it to me like this. Francisco does well. That's a poor ball. We are at sixes and sevens, man. We are at sixes and sevens. Oglev does not deserve to lose this final. Gonzalez, what a ball. Clivert, big moment. Oglev. Five minutes in what has been a pulsating Champions League tie. Mess have to get through five minutes to win the Champions League and for the save to be over. Chelsea have a chance. Habits going on a run. Still going his habits. Clivert comes inside. Hits it. Oh, he's hit the bar. Mm, just hold on. Highlight again. Johnny Raz in the box. Why are you there? Francisco. Don't lose it. Centauri, just hit it. Just hit it and let it be the highlight. Francisco. Mariba, well wide. That's fine. Everybody. Everybody. Concentrate. Fucking concentrate. Time ticks. Ticks away. Of course there's a fucking highlight. Johnny Raz heads. There's no time referee. You blow your whistle. Fabio to the corner flag. To the corner flag, Fabio. It's over! Yes! See! And after all those years of hurt, Mess do it the hard way yet again. Fucking come on. Oh, who, who thought that Chelsea were coming back and it was going to be a typical Mess story of being absolutely FM'd, conceding late goals and going out? I, I did. Put my hand up. Yeah, there. I did. Oh, my goodness gracious me. What the absolute is that final? That has to be one of the most craziest finals I've ever had in my life. That has to be the craziest final I've ever witnessed in my life. On to SFB, our biggest ever challenge to take a fourth division amateur club from Denmark and win the Champions League. A save that had drama, emotion, it even made me cry at points. A save where we played Barcelona 15 or 16 times and we couldn't beat them at all. It was a save where we never got past the quarterfinal of the Champions League except for the season we won went on to win it it took 20 years of hurt it was beautiful it had magical moments big sales lots of heroes some definitely some villains along the way and it's one of those saves that i highly recommend that you all go and check out i can't put in every moment in the journey but i've got a few that you're all gonna love 
from the first episode you knew this was going to be special the shoe was born an electrician from Sevenborg to keep the club afloat he gave us 50k in season one as well a lot of the early part of this save was about all these amateur players having back round stories and well the shoe was special here we have the birth of the shoe and you even get to see what he did in his final ever game back still going with it low good tackle the ball into the channel fine screw ladal the new signing beats one chips it stalled strop cuts it shoe magnus shoe is that how you pronounce it? shoe Screw, screw, shoe, shoe fly, don't bother me. I don't know. Him, he scored. It's 2 1. We're leading in our first game. Park the bus, the chat goes. Dim. We should park it, shouldn't we? Yeah. So if I gotta look, I know Google Translate's a Dr. Benji thing, but I'm not doing it to like have banter with Google Translate. I'm doing it literally to pronounce, pronounce a name. Hang on, let me put my headphones in. Because he's going to score goals for us this season. Show? Show. 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 Our first nickname of the save is coming in. The Shoe. And there you go. The Shoe. He is the shoe. From for now and forever, Shoal is the shoe. Because we're calling him shoe. The shoe. Um, but there's a moment that we have to savour, boys, before we do anything else, before I forget. The shoe is retiring at the end of the year. It is sad. I don't want him to retire. But at 32, he wants to retire. I don't think he wants to become a coach as well. I am putting him on the bench today. And I'm telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if we are winning by two or more goals come 70th minute, the shoe is going on at right wing to go and do what he used to do for us, which is banging goals in any competition. And I'm telling you right now, if we win a penalty late doors, the shoe is taking. But well, here we go. Come on. Where's the shoe? I know you've only got 12 pace. Running behind, and there we are. Wurtz, that's a dangerous ball, but he's picked him up. Fran now. Yeah. Make a run, please, Lars. Keep going, Lars. Fran getting on the run here. Still going. Still going. Gets tackled. We probably should bring Frank on to be fair. Yep, in here. Kits it. The shoe. Oh my god. He's done it. He's done it. He's the go. It's the it's the shoe. He's the go. He's the he's my favourite. They're my two favourites of the same just combined. He's actually done it. He actually did it in his last ever game for SFB. Yep, he's absolutely thumped it at goal, and the shoe's read it and just got there. Oh my god, just 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 drink it in. Drink it in, he's actually done it. The elect the semi-professional footballer, the electrician, he owns his own company in Sevenborg. A man that scored the first goal in the entire save 11 years ago. The man that was the first one nicknamed on the save. A man that gave us a 50k investment from, a, we, it said local business, but we said the shoes electrician company did it for the, for the fairy tale of it, to keep us afloat as a semi-professional club in season one has just scored in the cup final in his last ever game for SFB in season 11. In the end, Yepi has been selfish here and just trying to hit it and the shoe's got there. He is the guy. The shoe really was the goat and one of the heroes of the save. We then went on to make a Europa League final. We played Stuttgart and we were one of the favourites for this competition, knowing that it was our first ever European final. Going from an amateur club to a European final was huge. And could we do it? Well, let's go see what happened. Highlight that's going to end in something. Here we go. Popovich goes long. One by Hillian. Numbers through the middle. Wurtz. Doesn't play him. Ball in. Jefferson. Minutes. <laughs> oh, baby. The 4-4-2 finally found a goal. And in the 118th minute, 
We win the Europa League final. That was a nervy one. We were one of the highlight episodes was 149, titled So Brutal, we were denied in the quarterfinal of the Champions League in highly dramatic circumstances. This would have been the third or fourth Champions League quarterfinal we bowed out in, and at this point, in 17 seasons, we didn't know if we were ever going to be able to take SFB to the next level. Sit back. Go and enjoy this. It's brutal. And I highly recommend if you ever watch one video of it this save, episode 149 is definitely one to check out. It's kind of morphed. If they score from a set piece, I'd be livid. They have. Fuck off. See what I mean? Missed two massive chances. One nil down to Berlin. Oh, that's so unlucky. Time ticks away, five minutes of added time. All she wrote. Highlight, if we could, if we go 2-0 down now, I'll be livid. Stand up throw, he's got to win, does it? Ball to kill her, mate. Red. Oh my God, don't you dare. Don't you dare, it's in. It's game over. We can see it in the 88th to the 96th minute. Four moments. I've really set up not to do much. Come on, boys, we need a goal. We need it now. Nielsen's come on, Lars is out there. Time ticking away. Highlight. Look, if we can get one before the 75th, you never know. Bloom, Nildo. Still would send the Bloom. Going on a run by himself. Still going. Cuts at Hannibal. Knows how to score. Lars. Nielsen! It's a chance, boys. It's a chance. Change coming. Hannibal's not had his day. Stomer Reeve is a big game player. He's going to come in. And we'll leave one change. Up my sleeve. Free kick. Jefferson's good on the dead ball. Ball in. Carlos! Nielsen Carlos! Staring defeat in the face of adversity. We were looking into the depths of despair. And Carlos has headed us back into it. It's 2 2 on aggregate. It's 2 0 on the night. We're staying 4 4 2. To Man Moore, we want a winner. Time ticks away. 113th minute. A goal for them would send us out. A goal for us would send us through. Nielsen wins at Lars. Here we go. Runners. Jose needs a ball. Somariva inside. 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 Plays it. Nielsen. The Brazilian. Yes. Oh my days. We have not just done that. Park the bloody bus now. A goal for them would send them through, by the way. A goal for Herbert Bullion would send them through. We do not want to see a highlight. Time ticks. It t Oh, no way. No way. Paddy Horn. No way. No way. No way. No way. No! Jose! One time a bad. Who's taking it? Amrank Chan. Fuck off. He ain't missing. Jose Ramiun. Why? He's a penalty saver, is a bad but Fuck off. Fuck off, man. Really? A bad versus Amrank Chan. Oh, no, you saw. Oh, I saw his name come up. I thought he did it. Should have saved it. Should have saved it. Brutal, nearly that brutal, we ended the save in that episode.
But we came back, and three seasons later, we finally got past the quarterfinal. We knocked City out in the semi final, and we got a world class Liverpool side who were very dominant in the save in the final. We were nowhere near in this Champions League final favourites or expected to win, but we were treating it as more as a game to maybe get some experience for an assault at the title a season or two later. Hang on to your hats. This one got emotional. Hello, YouTube. It is Damien. It is the Rise of a Nation. It is episode 168. Today could be the last episode of The Save. That does mean I'm in a suit. It does mean it's a Champions League final. It's SFB, it's Liverpool, and we have a chance after 20 seasons to take a side, an amateur side in Denmark, to Champions League glory. It's a time that's been stressful, emotional, a time where we've been FM'd a lot, but it's a time where we do deserve our moment in the sun. And to do it against a side that I support in real life, against a manager who has been in charge of Barcelona eight times that we have lost to him, because Seni has just taken over Jurgen Klopp. This is their first year of Jurgen after retiring. It wouldn't be a bad way to go and win and complete the save. Goes long. Can we squeeze up? Can we win? We try. Blanco now. Simon with a ball. Picked off by Carlos. The baller. Can he beat a man? He doesn't. Nielsen now. The world class. Through. Baller. Baller. Oh my God. We've scored in the Champions League final. Inside 15 minutes we leave. The baller in a massive game. We lead in the Champions League final. Captain Fantastic. Lars not looking his greatest either. But that's okay. Oliano in the kitchen. Can we win the ball back? We don't. Oliano now. Tackle by Alba, flows in, falls back to him. Lucas Enrique, hitch a big moment, one all. And just like that, Liverpool hit back. That first real chance goes in. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you, really? You really thought we were going to just win that one, one, nil, no highlight? That's not how we do it. And just like that, it's one all. Extra time off we go. Yippie's on there. Delighted with that performance so far. Ravel's in for Bloom. And there we go. Highlight, away we go. Hutchinson, Marchi, Jalini, Lucas Enrique. We squeeze. Good boy out there, though. Hitchin now. Don't you dare do it to me from kickoff. Hitchin still going. Still going. Ball in. Carlos clears. Baller could get there first. Doesn't. Needed to win that, buddy. Simon now. Liverpool over us. Oli News got numbers. Five stands him up. Ball in. A bad. We go on the re-break. Bad goes long with Viala. He's a good boy in the air. Wins it. Baller. Touches. Beats one. Baller. Down he goes as a pen. That's a penalty. Pen ref. The baller's going to have a shot from the spot to fire us into the lead. Two minutes in extra time. The baller versus Junior. The baller! We've been the better team slightly. Time ticking away. Highlight. Hey, 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 hey. Free one. We dare to dream. Alba. Ball. Out wide. Ayala doesn't win it. Falls back to Liverpool. Ball down the line. It's got to be our ball. Well pressed. Ravel's on it. Come on, boys. Play it back to a bad. Or out the other side now. Play it into feet. Yeppy hands and great touch. Alba over the top. Baller for a hat-trick. Baller is in. Baller. Game over. Oh, maybe not game over, Damien, but it's 3-1. The baller's got a hat-trick. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it, boys. <laughs> yep. Yeppy Hanson, where are you? Free kick. Let's win it. Carlos. Game over. We won. Oh, my God. We won the Champions League. <laughs> Oh. 
And on the night in extra time, it is Liverpool 1, SFB 4, and this little amateur side from Denmark has just won the Champions League. Oh, I'm trying not to cry. This is this is actually pretty emotional, huh? This is pretty emotional, boys. Get your messages in support. Lads, you've been immense this whole save, huh? You guys have been immense this whole save. <laughs> what emotion was the journey of SFB? Now, a few caveats to this compilation. Obviously, we did not include the youth-only challenge with 1860 Munich. After 50 episodes, we stopped doing YouTube as we didn't have time in our schedule and we moved it to a stream-only save. This video was all about all the YouTube history that we have created so far. We also didn't include any team from Glory Hunter as I wanted to focus on only one club save rebuild like Wrexham was. But now it's this time to get into the episode. Over to Livecom Demo in the suit and it's time for your Champions League final. Hello YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here and welcome back to another episode on the YouTube channel. In today's video, it's episode 83 and potentially the final episode of the save. If you didn't check out last episode, it was an episode where we played Liverpool at Anfield with a chance to go invincible and boy, oh boy, did we. That backs up a season where we got 103 points and only lost one game in September of last year to a 94th minute penalty away at the Emirates against Arsenal. That it means that realistically, we've only lost maybe three or four games in general in about two and a half years worth of football. That is an almighty push. With that being said, it is not about domestic, you know, exuberance and jubilation and domestic trophies. This is where boys become men and where the big men become heroes and immortals. And these Wrexham boys already on that sort of pedestal have a chance to go down, not in history as, you know, the, one of the great Wrexham sides. They don't have a chance in history to go down as one of the great Premier League sides. They go down with a chance today against Real Madrid to go down in history as one of the greatest teams of all time. And I'm telling you now, if they win this Champions League final today, they will be crowned the best team I've ever built in Football Manager because they are just nutty. In saying that, though, we play Real Madrid, a team steeped in Champions League history, a team that does not know how to lose finals when they usually make it to the big dance, a manager, Roberto Mancini, that has been there and done it all, and a world-class squad that is fantastic. We're obviously going to recap Real Madrid's run into the Champions League. But for those that have not been around or for those that are new to the stream as we're currently live, so links down below and give the episode a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is our run to the Champions League final. In the league phase for the second time in free season, we won every single game in the league phase, finishing top. We then got Villarreal, a team that had six of our former players that we sold there, and speed on 3-0 and 3-1. Against PSG, a side that won two of the last three finals and have been in the final, I think, four times in the save, we drew 0-0 away from home and we were the better team and put them away 3-0. Against Benfica, you guys will know things got nervy, hairy, and there was quite a bit of squeaky bum time. A team that didn't really deserve to be there on paper, and after dominating away in Portugal and having over 3 XG, we all thought the second leg was a formality. In saying that, in a crazy eight minutes early on in the first half, we were 2-0 down, and we faced Champions League exile, and to be labelled the greatest bottle jobs of all time. Instead, this world-class Wrexham side found a way to not only come back but to find a way to win in the 115th minute. It has been an historical ride to a Champions League final that I think 
We've A, deserved to be there, and I think we deserve to be favourites as well. Let's talk about Real Madrid, though, in the way that they've come into all of this. They've got quite a lot of money in there, led by Captain Jude Bellingham. If you have a look at the, how they've gone into the Champions League this season, they have gone through the league phase and got through in the top eight. They then got Cope and, uh, they then got Braga in the round of 16, one, two, one away from home for drawing at home, which is a bit odd. Liverpool was their toughest chest so far in the Champions League in the quarterfinal where they lost at Anfield 2-1, but showed enough guile, wit and determination as Real Madrid generally have to win at the Bernabeu 3-0. And with that as well, Inter, who have a lot of money and are very well class in their own right, they drew at home before finding a 1-0 win away from home, which means that they are an all right, a deserving finalist and a team that knows not only how to win at home, but a team that knows how to grind out a result away from home as well. Big news, though, in this one here is they have Restes, their goalkeeper, out with a broken hand, which he'd done recently, and the guy is out for the next two months. That is a big loss for Real Madrid to lose their star goalkeeper. On top of that as well, they have Jeremy Doku, one of their better backup wingers, out and injured. At 32, he's probably not their first choice winger, but someone that could change a game, and he is no longer available. If you have a look at their squad quickly, they've also got people that are not 100% fit. Martin Butrunia, who was a hero for me in Glory Hunter last year, is also on the injured list. They've also got Hartman, who is okay but not great, would be another squad player that is also out injured. And they have the young next-gen winger, Jesus, who is a four-star ringer at 20, a four-star reputation because they bought him for 92 million at 18, 19 years of age. One of their key players may not make the final because he's in a little bit of injury, doubt with a hip injury, and I think he's going to miss out. If you look at that as a whole, we're probably lucky that they are missing so many players for this final and maybe makes us favourites. Real Madrid haven't been amazing in the last little period in the Champions League. Got knocked out in the round of 16 by Barcelona. Made it to the quarterfinal before losing to Chelsea. Quarterfinal before running into Bayern Munich. Round of 16... First knockout round, quarterfinal, quarterfinal. Many, many moons ago won the Champions League. So I have won it in the save. Man City, and then, yeah. So Real Madrid have been a little bit on a barren run. And then this season have gone monstrous to make the final. Look, this is our time. And it's time to find out if we really are as good as I think we are because this team is world class. Now, I apologise to everybody on YouTube because at the end of the Liverpool episode where my internet did die, though, during that, I did recap the whole squad. In typical demo fashion, we are going to go through every single player that is selected and bench players for the Champions League final. First up is Dominguez, who actually got injured and is receiving an injection here for a pulled back muscle. He'll be loose enough to play the final, at least a world-class goalkeeper. One of the best we've ever used, Mr. Dominguez, came from Atletico Nacional at 18 years of age, 3.6 million, and has never looked back. We've rejected multiple bids of about 200 million from Bayern Munich for him, and we will never sell ever in our lifetime. Robinson at right back, apparently he's not 100% fit for this final, which makes no sense, and I don't understand why they're all not 100% fit, which that does worry me. And now I can't get back to my team selection. They haven't done anything for a week. Um, Dan Robinson looks absolutely fantastic here as well. At right back, he looks pretty elite and looks absolutely physical. Can go forward, but as an inverted wing back, with those 12 long shots, he scores a few goals. Sayed Amran as well was another big one in the middle of the path. Looks absolutely physically a monster and mentally pretty good. And he is also a player that I think would be a great centre-back for most people, most says, one of the best in the save. Obviously, Nkampe came in this year to replace Cunnington. We sold to Bayern Munich for $189 million. Have a look at how good he is still at 32. He plays against his former club with a chance to win a Champions League. And lucky last, Lozano out at left back is one of the best left backs in the world. I think he's absolutely incredible. Yet again, looking at the fitness, we played Liverpool a week ago. Why are some of these guys not fit? I do not get that at all. And there's nothing to do with the training. Training has been normal. Anyhow, Koulibaly has been here. Club captain for many a season. 900k from ASEC. And, well, the Ivorian International is one of the best central midfielders in world football. He goes up against a couple of the best midfielders in world football today. For me, him against Bellingham is the battle of the final. If he can keep Bellingham in his back pocket, stopping coming from deep, I think we win the Champions League today. 
Desri do a fantastic footballer. Cost me over 110 million um, in terms of coinage. World class, loves a goal from deep, but also very good at creating from nothing and expect his range of passing to be huge. Batista gets the nod today. It is a Champions League final. He has a promise that I said I would win the Champions League if he stayed with me this season. He agreed. Box to box midfielder is what he will play today and going a little bit more workmanlike in the middle of the park to nullify that Real Madrid midfield free. Herman out on the left, Mr. Man from Wrexham, a man that genned out at the football club as a world-class talent, and he has not looked back. But since moving to the inside forward role on attack, he has looked more deadly than playing up front as a one-striker man, and he is someone that creates something out of nothing. That 20 technique is gloriful. Yes, he is really that good. On the other side is Martins, a guy we only bought this season for 48 million. As often said, he is the assister to the assist. He creates so much of his agility and his pace. He beat people down the line before playing a ball inside. And usually that ball inside is to an underlapping midfielder, Desiree Du, who finds the striker for the goal. I expect Martins, if he's up against a bit of a slower fullback, to have a great day out. Up front is the man, the myth, the legend, in Consigli, of course, the man from Newcastle. Since moving up front, he's been a little bit more well-class, physically a monster, six foot two, loves a finish and loves a very big game and is a consistent performer. 17 goals, eight, 22 in all competition. This front three love chipping in with a goal. The midfield knows how to score as well, and that is elite. On your bench is Masri because I can pick him, the Algerian. There's nothing really to speak about there. Richardson, the Australian, came through our academy. Four caps at 17 years of age is pretty something to talk home about. Dedez coming back from an injury is not starting today, but has started a lot. Great physicals. I think having Dedez with the opportunity to come off the bench to try and change the game if we're level or behind is better than having Batista coming off the bench to see the game out. Batista's fit enough to play 120 minutes, where Dedez probably isn't. So I think bringing him off the bench in order to see a game out is probably something that we could do. Obviously, the man, the myth, the legend, that is Muhammad Muhammad, hasn't been in the greatest of form of late, has actually been missing a lot of chances. He is the man that fired us into the Champions League final by scoring late doors. And more importantly than that, he is a man that loves this competition. Was averaging over an eight once upon a time this season in the Champions League. Still has nine goals and 10 appearances at 7.56 this season. He always seems to find a way in the back of the net. Expect to see him come on if this game is tight and tense. Junior for 22 million is obviously a world-class winger on the bench. Looks fantastic and has got a lot of speed. Ben Doak, though, is of a different gravy, though, compared to Junior. Bit more dynamic. Loves a goal. That 17 dribbling with that 19 agility. We've seen him go, turn men inside out, and he is a fantastic footballer. Obviously, Jacob Ramsey comes in with that experience. That was the plan when we bought him this season. Still looks pretty well-class in the middle of the park. Plans not to use him unless absolutely necessary. He is someone that we might even bring on to take a penalty because he is more experienced, if needs be. Obviously, Davies came through our youth academy. can play anywhere in the spine. Definitely someone that you will see come on if we need to see out a game late doors. He is a good defensive option to have. Zeze in his own right in about three to four years' time might be one of the best centre-backs in the world. This game's a little bit too early in his development to start. But what I will say is if he's coming on the Seattle game, I've got full faith in him. Have a look how good he is. Four caps at 19 for Brazil. He's a very good player. Parsons is another one who's been here for a very long time. If he's your third-choice centre-back, you've got quite a good squad. Great technicals, good mentals, and knows what he's doing physically. A very powerful centre-back. Somebody that you can trust and lucky last, as are the outfield players, is Walter at left back. Someone that if we need to change the game and be more aggressive, has got physicals to burn, loves to get up the field and cross. And he's a fantastic footballer to change a game if needs be. Hopefully not needed is Jordan Surinette, a man that is a wonder kid and a half and looks absolutely superb from our own academy as well. And hopefully we do not need Jordan Shaw in this game. That is your team to take on Real Madrid in the Champions League final. Vapi reckons this team is insane. Boys, on stream, give me a score prediction. It is time to go and see what we are up against today. Go out there and enjoy yourself, boys. I want to take the pressure off. I want to take the pressure off. I want them to go out there and just feel normal. All right. First things first, before I forget anything, Batista has to go box to box. Done. 
Franco's in net, not their first choice goalkeeper. Backup goalkeeper at 27 years of age. Still looks very good though. Robert at right back is elite at 25 years of age. Great physicals. Good mentals. Not the greatest technicals. Maybe some we could get at. Scalvini's elite, still at 30 years of age. Look how good he looks. He's fantastic. Parole is someone I'm happy that they're starting. Like, look, don't get me wrong. At 32, he still looks absolutely amazing. But I think our, our front three would like going up against someone like Parola. Technically not the greatest header in the ball. Consigli's very good in the air. I will say mentally and physically he's been there and done it all. So maybe I'm being a little bit harsh on him. And scraping at straws, he still is very good. Hartman plays not 100% fit. This is massive for us. He's the one we got to target. Martin's at right wing with his 20 agility, his pace, his ability to run, the 18 passing and vision, and not fully fit Hartman versus, versus Martin's. That's the matchup out wide on the right. Eduardo in the middle of the park, still physically an absolute monster. Probably more of a centre-back than anything, but still very good in a DM role. And he will be the facilitator. And that will allow Jude Bellingham, who is the best player in the world, probably on this save with Kylian Mbappe, have a look how good he is. Now, I can have all the best players I want in the middle of the park. If Jude Bellingham rocks up today, I'm sorry to say there's nothing that we can really do. He wins the Champions League by himself. Kamavinga alongside of him. What a legendary midfield two these two are. And this is why I am playing Batista and Kulabali because I feel like we need the work the light midfield to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe, and I can't wish the roaming playmaker of Dedez getting caught by these two. Lukas Sukic is a world-class midfielder. Starting to get a little bit on the decline now, though. Still looks very good at the moment. Giovanni Reino, of all people, start on the left wing. He did score in the Champions League semi-final away at Inter to get him into the final. He is not someone that I'm overly concerned about on paper. But for those that have watched my previous saves, I've used him in Glory Hunter. We know how good Giovanni Reina is. So someone to keep your eye on. And up front is Rodrigo Roberio, a fantastic 29-year-old. The Portuguese international is elite. This is a very good Real Madrid side. I would say their midfield is up on us. I actually think our back four is better. And I think up front we have a bit more eliteness about us. But that is probably my, you know, synopsis on it. There might be a little bit of bias in that. With that being said, it's very close. On the bench is a backup goalkeeper who is uh, one of their hot prospects. Uh, Pau Cabrassi grows into a decent player on FM. Gareth Beattie was actually at Brighton many moons ago. Had potential to be world-class. Never really got there. Hugo's still pretty decent. Sergio has played once for Spain. Not overly great. Jorge looks okay. Not great. Marcos at 20 is not overly great. Mark Bernal was actually a very good backup player for them. So there's one. Edwin's not overly great. Martha Butrini makes the bench injured. He might start in if he was fully fit, but good player. Antonio is not overly great. And Leo is their elite backup winger, but he's not fit. Is it me or is that a very weak bench? Am I, am I the only one that thinks that's a weak bench, Twitch chat? I'm not saying that's a reason that we win because that's a world-class starting 11. Am I the only one that thinks that's a very weak bench? It just might be. Anyhow, boys, can this team do it? Let's go find out. When you think of Champions League, you think of Real Madrid. They are by far the team steeped in the most history. When you think of this Wrexham side, you have a look at what they've done and you think this could be the best team in the world. It's history, it's, history. it's a team that knows how to win this competition over and over again. And then it's a team that could just be on embarking, becoming the greatest of all time. Can this Wrexham boys do it? Let's go find out, boys. Real Madrid in the infamous Galactico White. We're in the Royal Red. And away we go. We're over here in the Ukraine. The suit is on. It is time. We're in the aggressive 4 2 3 1. I want to be aggressive. I want to go front foot. I'm not scared of anybody in real football. So far, though, Real Madrid have had the better of the game in the first 20 minutes. But it's a highlight here for Sayed. Inside Amran with a chance to play from the set piece. Short into Robertson. Martins is the option here. Ignored. Back to Sayed, though. Into Desri Du. Over the top to Consigli. Doesn't win. Wins it back, though. Josh Herman. Mr. Josh Herman! 
The man from the Wrexham Academy makes it 1-0. It was James Margetts at 1860 Munich, a guy from T. Puki with 6,000 people there. It was a Kylian Mbappe for Sunderland many moons ago. It is now a Josh Herman from the Wrexham Academy that has put us 1-0 one one up against Real Madrid. One shot, one attack, one goal. Considering we've only conceded less than 20 goals in the league, you just never know. Corner comes in, headed down, Robertson clears. Herman's there. He can beat people. He turns one. There's five against one. Herman holds it up. Lovely. Superb from the world-class winger. Martin's going on a run here. Inside of Desri Du. Back to Koulibaly, finds Herman. Good ball out to Lozano, the world-class left back. Back to Herman, a man possessed. In the box, cuts it. Consigli makes it too. What a move. A world-class move. From a world-class team. And Real Madrid are shocked. Two goals in seven minutes. And we lead 2-0. Lozano with the ball. Herman's run a delight. And the ball across the box to Consigli. A man that will never miss that. This is this 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 team could be the best team I've ever built. Period. Long throw for Robinson. Sayed flicks on. Lozano effort blocked. That close to a third. If you look at the match momentum, Madrid started the best, but once we settled, have a look at that match momentum in the top right hand corner, boys. Have a look at it. We are 45 minutes away from the save being over. 45 minutes away from the save being over. Ball goes short, Camavinga. Parola. Out to Hartman. Giovanni Reina. Going down the line. Beats Robinson. Good run here from Giovanni Reina. Cuts one back stick. Suic heads over the bar. That's the thing. You get chances against us, but they're not going to be from good positions. We'll always force you wide. At what point do we go to the inverted wingback system and try and see this one out? I'm not too sure. Long throw, Robinson. We've seen this before. Sayed's the target, surely. Here he is. Back to Robinson. Whip it now, my son. Short to Koulibaly. Club captain puts it wide. 60 minutes played. It's 2-0. Giovanni Reina's gone up front. Ribeiro's gone wide. I'm starting to make changes now. Consigli, what a game, but he's dead. His name is Mohamed Mohamed. Ben Doak at right back. Yet again, have to make that move here as well. Make those changes for now. Got to wait to the 75th minute to go into the inverted wingback system. All right, boys, it's time. This is a system built for this moment, this exact moment. This is a system that has seen out so many games. Batista goes into the box, uh, in the ball-winning midfielder. Davies for Desri doing the box to box. Lozano's on a booking. His name is Walter. And on we go. Me and Bappy thought the same thing. This is a system that doesn't concede too many chances. We are nearly there. Time ticks away. Are we there? I think we're home. Boys, oh boys. The Wrexham dream has been lived. It is going to finish Real Madrid nil. Wrexham 2. And we are champions League winners. Not only did we go undefeated and invincible, not only did we win the league, not only did we win the cup, we won it all. And we did it with a doddle. A doddle. It is 2-0. It was the Josh Herman show in the final. And what a performance that was. Was there any ever doubt? This has to be 
the best team I ever built. With that being said, boys, what a fantastic, fantastic save this was. This reinvigorated my love for, for Football Manager. The blood, sweat, and tears we put into scouting in this save was absolutely immense, and I highly recommend doing a Wrexham save to yourselves. Main reason is, because you are the biggest team in Wales by this stage, and if as long as you get world-class facilities, you get a lot of fantastic regens. And man, this save was fun. Boys, we're Champions League winners. I'll catch you guys next time. I think this is the best team I ever built. Well, YouTube, what a save. It is over. And oh boy, what a journey. Have to say it's taken about four days to edit this video. And I have to say, if you're still watching at this point, you're an absolute legend of this community and of this channel. And a question to you, what was our best team that we've built? And what was the best save that we've done on Football Manager? For me, I think this Wrexham side has to go down as the best team we ever built. But the best save, I still get emotional when I think about SFB and the journey that was. And I think that is still the best save we have ever done. And saying that though, from Wrexham, from Herman, from Consigli, from Kulabali, from Dominguez, from them all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys for a save in the not too distant future. Goodbye for now.